Hello, so I thought I could make a video today to show how to duplicate an assembly with its subcomponents and all the constraints being intact. So what I mean is, I have this box here that I made a while ago on my channel, and it was built to be dynamic. So the idea being that if I resize some characteristics of it, let's say I want to make this higher, the box should automatically update And you can see the tabs and slots would still stay intact. So this was the case that if I wanted to get a bigger box, I can just make it easily there, take out these pieces, um, put them onto my CNC, and then cut them out and put them together. So if I wanted to duplicate that into another assembly, um, let's say in another folder or something, and I want to use it for something else, it's quite difficult to do it in SolidWorks alone. So the different type of variations you can do is, is you save as, and then you go into include all references, and then do advance. But what I found when doing this sort of stuff, a lot of my stuff started to fail. So what I found was the, the easiest thing to do was just to go to File, Pack and Go, and then do Flatten to Minimal Folders, and then specify where you want that to be saved. So I want it to be saved in uh, this directory, select that folder and then you can see how where it's saving to have changed as well and what I would also add is you want to add a suffix so at the end of each file name I want to add a certain ending so let's put out and you can see it says here where it's saving to so if you go into file open why don't you just exit this first don't save File, open, and we go into that folder we had, which was uh, draws, unit, outside, assembly, one, underscore. You can see that ending of out has been appended to it. And if we look at the references, you can see that that assembly project references those files in the outside box. So this one in the folder we've just exported out to. And so if I now go here and I edit the box again, and we go out the sketch, and we update it, then update again, and you can see the errors are gone, and we've got a nice box with all the tabs and slot made in it so it fits perfectly together. Yeah, so that's how you export this type of uh, project out. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.